Hi DIYers, this is Frank again at Alarm Grid and we're working on the 6160 RF keypad with our Vista 21 IP Ethernet uh, ready panel. So today we're going to be we're actually working on a Star 92 Telco fault. Uh, that is a field in programming where you can set the system to monitor your phone line. Now nowadays a lot of us are moving away from analog POTS phone lines and integrating Ethernet modules if you have the 21IP um, or the 7847i uh, or uh, long-range radios in the form of GSM modules usually the 4G ready units like the GSM V4G, GSM X4G or the iGSM V4G. If your system uh, previously had a phone line maybe you're stripping it out or maybe you're disconnecting service Either way, uh, the panel in previously was probably set up with what's called a phone line monitoring option. Okay, This is an option on the system that allows your panel to monitor the physical connection of that, um, of that tip and ring, the phone line, uh, on terminals 22 through 24. Um, so 21, 22, 23, 24 rather, uh, incoming and outgoing back to the handsets. So this video today we're going to show you how to uh, fix the issue if you do have a phone line um, telco fault and you have live monitoring on a phone line that's usually a good indication that the phone line connection went bad uh, or was somehow disconnected or severed or potentially compromised in some way um, if you don't have a phone line and you're just simply trying to disable the field we can show you that as well so uh, let's take approach uh, situation one which is we have gotten rid of our phone line and we no longer want to have that field enabled. So what we would do here is go into programming. We'd use 4112-800. Now that's our default code on the panel. If you have changed your installer code, you want to use that. If you're not sure of your code, you can use the backdoor method, which we have in a different video. Uh, so now that we're in programming, you see installer code 20. We would do star 92, and that's going to show you the telco monitor. Uh, setting. So there's two fields. Uh, the first field is going to show, is going to determine uh, whether or not you get a trouble and then the second will uh, basically tell the system what to do, whether to display it at the keypad, um, issue some beeps, or uh, do a full-on um, you know, siren. So uh, we'll get into the nitty-gritty on that momentarily. For now, uh, if assuming that you just simply want to disable it, you just enter a zero, zero to clear it out, okay? Uh, so that would bump you to the next field, star 93, and then you would hit star 99 to exit programming. Um, so we can go ahead and do that. So now when we exit programming, you'll notice that now it says disarm ready to arm and there's no longer a telco fault. Now, if you did have a phone line connected, obviously we don't want to do that. We want to keep the phone line monitoring option enabled. Uh, you don't need to go into programming at all. Uh, what you need to do is you need to restore the connection. So you want to go to your alarm cabinet, physically check the wiring at the cabinet, uh, check it at the, if you have uh, an RJ31X, little brown phone plug that is connected to a little patch cable going to the phone uh, incoming tip and ring, then you want to check those connections as well. Sometimes that modular plug becomes loose especially if you were in the panel doing anything else, maybe moving the battery around. Um, also, you want to check the connections at the phone box, or if you're using a modem, you want to do that. Be aware, if you are using a modem and a digital phone line, you definitely want to eventually move over to something like an internet or GSM module. We always recommend cellular, uh, just because of the reliability factor. Uh, a lot of these phone line companies are transitioning away from the infrastructure of an analog structure and you know the signals are not uh, carrying through to the central station anymore in some cases. So there's been documented you know, instances of, of phone lines just you know, stopping working, basically just all of a sudden one day uh, they are no longer reporting. Now we at Alarm Grid check our signal history, make sure signals are coming through daily so we would notify you of that but you definitely want to um, eventually move over to a cellular or internet module to avoid any issues like that. But if you do still have a phone line and you're getting this error, it means the physical connection is, is somehow compromised. So you want to remedy that physical connection.
connection. If you need to call an installer, you can or do it yourself. Uh, once it is remedied, it will not clear on itself, uh, on its own rather. Uh, so what you want to do is enter your master code followed by off, in other words, a disarm twice. So anytime you have a trouble, if you restore it and you fix the issue, it does not clear automatically. You have to then do a double disarm. So you can do a one, oop, let's start over here. A one, two, three, four off. That's our master code by default. Uh, you probably have a different code. You can use your user code to use to arm and disarm. Um, and then the one key, and you want to do that twice. If you do that twice and the phone line is, is physically restored, it'll go away and you will no, no longer see the telco fault. If it doesn't go away, then you still have a physical wiring issue and you may need to get a professional out to deal with it. Um, if you have any other questions regarding the telco fault error uh, on your keypad, which if you have a fixed English keypad, you would get a 94 on the screen and just a 94 with nothing else, uh, then you, want to, you, can all, you can email us at support at alarmgrid.com and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.